Yeah, she said, it, it's so beautiful here in Salt Lake City. She's <laughs> like, it's not quite the same as Rwanda, the country of a thousand hills. <laughs> right? Three-point line yeah. as the Pac-12's leading scorer. Yep, she had a few of them the other night. A couple or three, 17 points who got the starts, and Coach Etheridge said they were thrilled with how she just stepped right in and got it done, and the Queen getting it done behind the arc there. For the Cougs, both teams going to their benches. Ah, oh, the shot clock winding down. Mercatete, though, cleans it up. A little momentum boost going in by the Cougs. You see that potential at 6-3 to run the floor like that. Oh, really something. Johnson gets it down low and finishes. Give her the assist. First points of the game for Jenna Johnson. Here's Mercatete. Facing up. Spins it in. Uses the backboard good. They had 17 earlier in the season in non-conference play. But yeah, 16. They were trying to catch it. Uh, Johnson, that is pretty. Clark couldn't get out there in time. Saw her a little bit in Friday's game. Hadn't seen her in quite some time. John sticks it. Got herself squared up. With scoring behind the back, Peely fakes one way, goes the other one, <laughs> and the body control. She's a contortionist. Palmer around and out. Try, try, try again. <laughs> they come up empty, and finally the Cougs able to clear the glass. Mercatete, good awareness of where she was, where the D was. I mean, it, it, it is one of those where each and every game is so crucial. And Utah, for them, they're trying to knock up. They could get a number one overall seed if That's they right. make a run here. Oh, the patience by the Utah. Minute and a half left in the third quarter. Cougs not giving up on this one. Meekins, the and one. And that's one you need to flex afterwards. Yeah, Lister at 5-10. Young scoops it up and good. Out to Vieta. Off the back of the iron and a long rebound. Another one for the Utes. Can they make them pay? They do. Assist for Peely. Nothing but net for McQueen. They can have what is a good game and still be up double digits against a really quality Washington State team. Pushing tempo. That Cammie Etheridge told us she was most concerned about. Utah is unique in that they have so many options and they give them plenty of room as back at you. Finally, another three for the Cougs. Cammie uh, Etheridge and the Cougs will head back home to host the Oregons coming up. A huge yep. weekend for both Oregon and Washington State.